Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. Today I want to... I'm going to touch on a bit of a serious subject today. It's all been all over the news and uh, I mentioned it on one of my shows, just sort of touched on it. I didn't go into any detail as to what I was thinking about. This whole situation going on with all the children, the indigenous children and all the bodies found, with all the boarding schools and residential schools and all the things going on. And that the other thing that gets me is that the fact that the Pope hasn't even dressed it yet. I know he's been in the hospital for 10 days and stuff. I only, saw, I only realized that actually last night. I was watching the news and I saw that. And ironically, uh, it was my mother's birthday yesterday as well. And I was talking to her and the subject came up. My mother's a very, very Catholic. My mother and I have been arguing about Catholicism and religion and stuff since I was old enough to make my own thoughts. We've banged head, it's about it always. It just, it never ceases to amaze me, the, the whole thing, really. This is just, obviously it's, it's wrong from the get-go, but I know you can't, you can't blame me for what my ancestors did. I realize that because I wasn't there and it's not my fault. And you can't blame the people that are around today for what happened in the 1900s and the 20s and the 30s and stuff like that. That would be wrong. That part of it I agree with. Don't lay what they did at my feet. I'm already ashamed of being a human being with some of the atrocities that happened throughout the course of history, never mind just the indigenous children. I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking sec Second World War, I'm talking First World War, I'm talking just, I mean, the, the Crusades, and just just look through history. The, the, the abominations and the, 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 the guys that have tried to literally eradicate their, their enemies from the face of the earth to the point that they're, they're like, what is the point? What are you thinking trying to do things like this to, to other human beings? What is it that's in your mind that makes you think that? How can you not come to some sort of a compromise? How can you not want to sit down with somebody and say, okay, look, I realize we're at an impasse and I realize we've got 90% of the land and you only have 10 and you're upset and that and and you should be because we have more than you do so how about we take 40% and we give it to you and then we both have 50% and we can both live i know you you have this religion and these thoughts and these beliefs and these things you take yours and go over there i'll take mine and i'll go over here and i won't bother you if you don't bother me and maybe we can meet in the middle somewhere at some point you know how hard is it to get along? That's my question. Where does it come to the point that you don't even want to try to compromise? I, I know there's people out there that don't want to compromise. I've dealt with people like that in my, in my life before. P you try to compromise and you try to do this and you try to... But these are the type of people that should not be in positions of power or positions of authority or whatever. These are people that should not be there. If they're not willing to listen and talk to people, get out of the job. I think that the Pope, if, you know, he has to acknowledge what happened and he has to try to make, at least try to make up for, try to help them feel better about the situation. At least you can't make them feel better, but you know what I mean. Like try to make up for it in whatever way possible. Try to do something to show you actually care. You know, there was a thing, that I, there was a meme I saw on Facebook that said, you know, flags at half mast are nice, but clean drinking water would go a lot further. And that's the kind of thing I'm thinking. I mean, some of these reserves don't even have clean drinking water. They don't have proper plumbing. They don't have... What are you doing? And then to make matters worse, the Quebec government, in its infinite wisdom, now are giving millions of dollars to fix up the Catholic churches in Montreal because it's part of their heritage or it's part of this. Or it's, like, 
what a kick in the nads. Like, take the, you know, how to make the Indians and the indigenous people and everything, how to make them feel better by fixing up the Catholic churches now that this has come to light. What are you thinking? Or is that the idea? Let's, let's do whatever we can to make them feel so bad that they have to, they feel they have to start a war and maybe that'll give us the initiative to try to eradicate them. Is that your plan? You wanna stir it up so badly that they're gonna have no other choice except to try to start a war? You're gonna start Oka crisis all over again? Is that what you want? Like, where is the common sense? This is what I'm asking. The basic bottom line is, what the hell are you thinking? There's a problem, fix it. Don't give excuses and don't give me the whole and don't, oh well, you know, we'll, we'll put the flags at half mast and we'll talk about it as if we care. Stop talking, stop yapping, do something. That's the bottom line. That's how you can show, actions speak louder than words. Lip service is easy. Do something. Trudeau, you're supposed to be running the country? Do something. Take the bull by the horns. To hell with everybody. Implement something that you're gonna give them a chunk of change to fix up what they need. You know what? Get on the Quebec government to say, you know what, never mind fixing up the churches. Take that, those millions and millions, to hell with the churches. To give that to them starting for reparations. Give them clean water. Give them clean, you know, there's, there's places in Manitoba and out west that need help people. Bottom line, help them. If you can't help them, get out. You're not doing your job. There are people living on the streets, not just indigenous people. There are people living on the streets that need help. There are people everywhere. Stop. Enough is enough. That's it. Bottom line. If you can't help, take the door. Take it now. Take it. Get somebody in who will help. Bottom line. That's my vlog for today. Rant over. Hopefully I'll see you soon and I can say they did something. And then we can all cheer. Take care. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime. And when you do, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. We really want to know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other because that's the way it's supposed to be.